Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will tell you how to attempt the MCQ questions in the listening module. As in MCQ questions, it is very difficult to judge that what is the answer. As the speaker will confuse you between all the options given. So, before that, let me tell you what are your mistakes. That's why you are not able to score good in listening as it is the simplest module. The first thing is concentration. Yes, concentration and listening is very, very important. If you are not able to concentrate, you are not listening it properly, obviously you will not be able to catch the answers. Right? There is no pill or any tip that how to be concentrated. That only depends upon your dedication, how dedicated you are. You want to score good or not. So be concentrated if you want to score good marks. Next comes the accent. It is a major problem that we people face, especially the Indians, right? Because we are not aware of the words, the numbers, that how they speak. The accent is different, right? So how you can learn that? To be familiar with the British accent, the first step you will do is you will lower the playback speed if you are listening to the YouTube, right? So what it will help you, it will help you to grab the words. You will be able to understand each and every word the speaker is speaking or the speaker is saying. So pause the video and read out the questions first. If you are a beginner, do this step and listen to the very slow speed that you are able to grab each and every word. After 5 to 10 days, what you will do is you will come to the normal speed. You will read the questions in the given time frame as it is you have 30 seconds to read the questions 1 to 10. So you will read the questions in that given time frame. And after 5 to 10 days or after a week you will shift to the higher speed. Right that may be 0.5 or you may increase it by 1. So that you are able to or you are capable to grab what the speaker is saying. That will not only increase your efficiency in the listening module but it will help you to read out the questions much faster which will be beneficial in your reading module as well and that will also increase your fluency so what it means all the modules are related whether it's speaking writing reading or any other so please do these steps if you are very beginner or you are not able to understand that British accent this will help you to increase your capabilities I'm sure within two weeks or 20 days you will be able to increase your capabilities and you will surely be able to understand the British accent very well. So let's move on to the practice section of the listening module for the MCQ questions. You and me, we both will solve the questions simultaneously, right? So that you are able to understand that how we will attempt the question, where the speaker says what and how to grab the answers. So let's begin. So this is the practice question for the MCQ. First, we will read out the question. Choose five letters from A to I. What five modules does the course include? So, what it depicts is, we need to answer any five of them that the course includes. Now, we will hear the listening. What it says. Now listen and answer questions 24 to 30. And how do you like the curriculum? I think it's nice. It's great that we'll be learning marketing in detail, as I've always been interested in this subject. Me too. And after that, we'll be training to design custom logos. The professor told that the curriculum has been modified, and we won't learn design this year. What a pity. The same with product management. But you shouldn't worry. They just combined these two sections into a larger one called branding. Then it's good. Moreover, they've added something called e-commerce this year. It's a great alteration, and the course is kept up to date. Online trading is so popular now. And after that, we'll learn advertising. Yes, and also analytics. Really? Won't analytics be replaced with customer attraction? Yes, you're right. I forgot about that. I think that's all. The professor also teaches a course called Business Strategies. So... We may take his other course next year. So, were you able to grab? 
first she said he will teach us marketing and after that she said that we will be having a customs logo but these two subjects has been modified into the branding right and then she spoke about the e-commerce and then the advertising and then she spoke about the analytics but after that she said that it has been replaced by the customer attraction right so this is the correct answer and she also spoke about the business strategies but what she said is it will be the part of our curriculum in the next year so we got our answers there were five right answers that is a d e f and h right i hope you have understood this so now move on to the next questions first we will read all the questions so that we do not get confused right what the first question says initially the great wall was built to prevent invaders from entering china function as a psychological barrier show countries enduring strength right so you need to focus on this initially at the very first point the great wall was built to for what any of three right so moving to the next question what it says the construction of great wall started in 3rd century bc in 220 bc and 390 ad the chinese name of the monument is the great wall the big wall the long wall what is the name of the wall the wall as it exists today was constructed mainly by by whom it was constructed so these are the names given right next comes during the min dynasty the wall's main purpose was to be a military fortification to protect carnivores traveling along the trade routes to contribute to the defense of the country so these are the questions now we will hear the listening to answer the questions now listen carefully and answer questions 31 to 35 perhaps the most recognizable symbol of china and its long and vivid history The Great Wall of China is one of the most extensive construction projects ever completed. Somewhat ironically though, the one monument that China built to keep foreigners out is actually now the biggest tourist attraction in the country. Despite the initial purpose, the Great Wall never effectively prevented invaders from entering China. It came to function more as a psychological barrier between Chinese civilization and the world. and remains a powerful symbol of the country's enduring strength though the beginning of the great wall of china can be traced to the 3rd century bc many of the fortifications included in the wall date from hundreds of years earlier when china was divided into a number of individual kingdoms during the so-called warring states period around 220 bc qin The first emperor of a unified china ordered that earlier fortifications between states be removed and a number of existing walls along the northern border be joined into a single system that would extend for more than 10,000 li and protect China against attacks from the north. A li is about one third of a mile, and that's where the monument's name came from. The original name for the Great Wall is Long Wall of 10,000 li, or simply the Long Wall. Though the wall is quite inspiring, it was never called the Great Wall in Chinese. and only foreign mistranslation with romantic overtones refer to it as great or big wall with the death of qin and the fall of his dynasty much of the great wall fell into disrepair much later a series of frontier tribes seized control in northern china the most powerful of these was the northern wei dynasty which repaired and extended the existing wall in 390 ad to defend against attacks from other tribes Despite its long history, the Great Wall of China as it exists today was constructed mainly during the mighty Ming Dynasty from 1368 to 1644. Under the strong hand of the Ming rulers, Chinese culture flourished and the period saw an immense amount of construction in addition to the Great Wall, including bridges, temples and pagodas. 
In earlier centuries, the wall held little importance for the Mongols as a military fortification, and mostly served to protect caravans traveling along the profitable trade routes. But during the Ming Dynasty, the Great Wall was considered vital to the defense of the country. So here you can see that the speaker was saying about the word initial, right? So from that I was able to answer the question. Initially, that prevents invaders from entering China. So go for the words, pick up the words that are given in your question. That may be your synonyms as well, right? In the next questions, the speaker was using some of the synonyms. In this question, the speaker was saying the wall was constructed in the 3rd century BC, but it started 100 years earlier, that was in this year, right? So, focus on the sentence till the end, the conversation till the end, so that you are able to understand. First, he spoke this answer and then he came to this, so this was wrong. Moving to the next the Chinese name of the monument is, the speaker said it is called the Long Wall in China. It was never called the Great Wall or the Big Wall. Right? So they have spoken about all the answers but one of them is right. Never called and the original name is this. Try to focus. Next, the wall as it exists today was constructed mainly by this question was direct. In one sentence, he said the wall as it exists today was constructed mainly by Ming Dynasty. So, this is a direct question. And he also spoke about the year as well. And the last question. During the Ming Dynasty, the wall's main purpose was. You need to focus on this. Main purpose. So, it was defense. He spoke about the defense of the country. So that's all in today's video. I hope you will try these tips and tricks that I have already told you that how you can increase or decrease the speed of the listening so that you are able to grab the British accent and I hope these questions will also be helpful to you. Thank you very much for watching my video.